So hello, welcome back to the second lot of eight coins. So these ones cost me 30 bucks. And well, basically we're just going around to actually find if there's any value in these coins. Uh, so the first one that we have is a 20 heller from uh, German East Africa. And this is a brass coins of 11.64 grams, 29 millimeters. And these were issued during the First World War. And you can see that it has been laved. So that means that it's probably been cast and then it's been ground back. So that's what the, all those stripes around the circle is. And then it was pretty much struck. So these coins are supposedly made out of melted down monuments. And... They also issued a five heller. Uh, they didn't issue any other denominations in base metal, but they did issue, I think, a gold 15 rupees. Uh, and they're all dated 1915, 1916. So there are some varieties that you have to look for. And the first variety has got to do with those double L's. So... This one has both the variations, so we have the straight pointed and we have the circular. And then there's another variety with both two pointed and also there's a third variety with uh, both circular. So this one is probably not as common as whatever people think. Uh, so this is the a reverse and if you go on the back there is a large and small crown so this is a small crown so this is the b reverse the large crown is the a so this has um obverse of b reverse of a well no mister says only six percent of people who have this coin have this variety there's also another variation uh this one has t for the mint mark and that it is Talbora, uh, that's the actual mint, and it has Deutsch Ost Afrika, that's what the DIA represents, and these coins, they used to sell for about 20 bucks, you can probably still find some for 20 dollars, but in general you'd be paying about uh, 50 to 100 dollars for one of these coins, so this one basically makes up for the actual value of all these coins, uh, that I originally purchased. And there is no mintage figures for these coins. Okay, the next coin we have is a Fijian half penny issued during the Second World War. Uh, 1942. And there's also another one issued 1943. They made out of brass. Mintage of 250,000. Fijian pre-decimal coins are not really that popular. So this one's probably only about 5 to 10 bucks. But it does have a die crack there. Which... Would add a little bit more value. There's a die crack on this side. Uh, not too sure why there's a die crack and they keep minting this coin. Uh, these were minted, it has an S down below, in San Francisco. And before this and after this, they issued these coins in copper nickel. So before and after the Second World War. Uh, this is just an emergency issue because I needed the nickel for uh, other types of war endeavors like uh bullets and actual vehicles okay the next coin is a 1938 penny half penny and this one has the reverse that they used in 1911 and this is the first coin issued in this denomination for george VI. and in 1939 they issued two coins uh the first one had this reverse and the second one had the kangaroo which is pretty popular so the half penny of uh, 1938 had a mintage of about three million and fourteen thousand it's not really a hard coin to get and in this condition which i use the actual head so a lot of the hair is missing so i've just grade this a very fine and probably about five dollars or less for this coin 
not a hard coin to get. 1939 is more common, but the 1939 Rue is one of the key dates. Okay, the next coin we have is a 50 lever from Bulgaria. So this is the first base metal coin in this denomination. Before this, in 1930, they issued a silver coin. And, well, after the First World War, the Bulgarian lever actually fell in uh, value. They originally, for this size coin, it was actually a two lever during the Second World War, uh, First World War and before. But obviously during the 20s and 30s, it lost a lot of value. So this coin is a mintage of 12,340,000. And it has Boris III, so Tsar of Bulgaria. Nice portrait. It's in copper and nickel, 10 grams, 27 millimeters. And obviously it's demonetized after the Second World War. So 943 they did issue a one in nickel plated steel so obviously times had actually gotten tough so i reckon these did circulate up until 1945 so 1945 are uh, the actual value of the currency fell and in 1951 they issued uh new coins so they re-denominated pretty much but can't remember they did not read denomination. Uh, but anyway, that one's probably worth about five to ten bucks. You can pick it up. Okay, the next one we have is a Canadian one cent. So you can see on this side it's dark. So this has the original patina developing. And this side is shiny. So obviously, I believe this coin has been cleaned in the past. You can actually just dip it in some cleaner to actually remove the patina yeah. but i don't think they've done this on this side it looks like it's got the original patina so maybe on this side they've just wiped part of it to get rid of the patina and make it shiny but this is a one cent from 1886 and these coins circulated up into 1920 when they reduced the size of the coins so, uh, the mintage of this coin is one and a half million. Obviously, in this condition, uh, it would be classed as very fine, fine to very fine. Uh, they sell for about ten dollars because it does have a lower mintage value. Uh, but cleaning it probably reduces the value of that coin. And the next one we have is eighteen fifty three French coin. So with Napoleon the third, the was uh, emperor up until 1971 when the Prussians defeated France and he was overthrown and the Republic was proclaimed. So this is the first coin they issued since 1908 and it's an A mint mark which is on the other side so that means it's from the Paris mint so five centimeters so here's the coat of arms of the French Empire and 1853, so this is minted about 14,145,950. And in this condition, which I'd say is very fine, it, yeah, so they sell for about five to ten dollars. Paris mint's always the highest minted coin. Uh, the other mints have a lower mintage. So you've got B, the other mints you've got, yeah, you know, Numister does list all the mints. you got Rouen, Strasbourg, Lyon, Bordeaux, Mercedes, and Lille. So you've got quite a lot of mints. Currently, it's only the Paris mint that issues coins. Obviously, France is no exception in that coin use has actually decreased. Coin use all around the uh, developed world has decreased. And apart from the, 19, uh, the 1808 coin, which is Napoleon I, which only had a few hundred thousand, uh, the most common coin is that 1796 to uh, the 1800 5 centimeters, which they issued in quite high numbers. 
but uh, it's coins are more crude so this is uh based on uh, more developed technology and the next coin we have is a one anna coin and this is from Jaipur so this is an Indian princely state coin and most of the inscription on this side is in Urdu so that's pretty much just Hindi with Persian words in it and written in the Arabic script but it does have a one but you think oh one that's a western numeral no this was actually used a lot in North Africa so it's actually an Arab development and it's the Western Arabic numerals the current ones that the Arabs use are the Eastern Arabic so and they both are derived from numerals in the, used in India so here we have the coat of arms of Jaipur so and Jaipur symbol so this is a Jar there's a Nagari legend around Maharaja uh, Swaiman Singh the second and this coin was issued in 943-44 there's different weights but this one's a more common weight of 4.3 grams made of brass and it's they sell for probably about $20 yeah so that's nice and the last one we have is a coin from French Indochina. The last issue of five cents. And this is in what they call uh, nickel silver. So there is no silver in this coin. So it's really another name would just be nickel brass because it's just nickel, copper and zinc. And this one seems to be uncirculated. Here we have cornucopias down below representing food supply and Mariam up the top so representation of France public French chase obviously there's a whole coins five cents and we have two wheat looks like wheat going around so uh, the mintage of this coins 38 million five hundred thousand and change uh, and this in this condition probably sell for about ten to twenty dollars. Thirty eight million is actually quite a lot of coin. And uh, it's four grams and twenty four millimeters in diameter. So oh well, just reduce the actual price of that coin. So basically for thirty dollars, uh just this coin alone makes up for that coin. Uh so you got thirty, yeah, probably another ten. Another 20, uh, 40, 50, 60, yeah, probably 70 dollars. Yeah, in coins there, and then you've got to take away eBay fees. So, anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting because it's just an awesome hobby. Let me know which coin is your actual favorite. With me, my favorite coin would be uh, pretty much none. Actually, no, this one, Jaipur. Because that's the only one that's going in my collection. I already have that one. Thank you and goodbye.